Hello everybody, Frankie J here for Frankie J Models. Okay fellas, for today I've got the final reveal, video 3, for Mr. Warren Blanche and Frankie J Spitfire Buddy Group Build. Okay fellas, this has been long overdue, and uh, I got mine in done, and Mr. Blanche got his all done, and Warren's about two builds ahead of me, and I'm slowly starting to catch up. Okay, guys, uh, in overall view of the kit, it's a nice kit. I had no uh, fit issues at all. Uh, anybody who has this kit will find out that if you dry fit it and, uh, and, and it leaves those gaps on the wings, don't worry about that, guys. By the time you put the cockpit in like that, it will spread that fuselage apart. It will fit nice and flush against uh, the wing roots of uh, the wings and you'll be okay. Uh, no, no fit issues at all. I had no problem with this kit. It's not. It's a dandy little kit. It's a good Spitfire, and I enjoyed building this thing. And I'm glad it's over with. It's all done, and I'm gonna box her up and put her away nice and tidy like, and uh, don't have to worry about getting harm's way of getting busted. Okay, before we go to the slides behind me of the overall final reveal, I I got something I want to show you guys. Now I can resume on my B25. I got everything I need. It's A-OK kosher now. I can be able to get her get her done. I just yesterday I received my white metal landing gear set for my B25. Like I said, I'm not even going to use those plastic ones. Those plastic ones right in the spare parts box where I can use for a future project. These are white metal. This tells me that B25 is going to rest very pretty. You can bop it all you want to. You can drop it. And these ain't going nowhere. The plastic will give for these will. I feel safe. I feel secure. And uh, I got these. I'm very happy with that. In the beginning, I'm, within 24 hours, I got this. My window mask set. And finally, I got my decal set. Mine's going to be the heavenly body. And uh, so, I got the B25 shaking your way. And I'll probably have a video of that probably, uh, I'll say probably uh, by Saturday. Right now, I'm going to get started on this one. On this 148 scale air fix. Sea Fury. I don't know how long this kit's been in production. I think it's probably a new tool kit. It's brand new, just came in. It may be old, maybe a long time kit. They just now brought it back in again. But I don't know. I know nothing of it. I built the only one seventy second scale. This kit that I built, fellas, was the Frog kit. It was a very, very superb kit. I remember it was molded in, in beige color sky or beige something like that and i thought that was a nice touch in plastic you know and i guess back then i just let the plastic like the way it was just paint the sea gray on top and let the plastic go paint because it was so pretty and uh so this one <laughs> i ain't gonna try that i'm gonna paint this thing all over i did make an inbox of view on this and and it's, it's a very good uh top quality kit guys i highly recommend you guys buying this and like i say you got options of the of the wings uh, Extended for flight or folded for carrier storage. So I'm going to be uh, busy on this and I'll probably have some pictures on Facebook and have a video of this probably by uh, maybe by this Friday. And uh, then I'll have the, uh, the, uh, the video with B25 coming up in the following. So that's completion of my B25 aftermarket sets. That I got that completes my Mitchell. So it's a okay right there. Alrighty, we're gonna get back to the Spitfire here, and we're gonna take the camera. We're gonna zoom in a little bit here, and uh, review the pictures of the uh, Spitfire and talk about it. It's chew the fat, Spitfire talk. And like I said, guys, in conclusion of the overall 
view of the, of the model. It's a nice kit. I highly recommend getting it, guys. You know, one thing good about it, for the money, you can't beat it, really. You can't beat it for, for $30 or perhaps less, even less than that, you know, miles less. You can't, uh, you can't bite the hand that feeds you, you know, it's, it's, it's a good kit. And uh, so, uh, there's probably a lot more better out there. But this kit's a good, nice kit. I'm happy with it, and she's all done. Like I said, I'm going to have her all boxed up after this video. Okay, we're going to zoom in right behind me and take a picture, take a view of these uh, stills here and review the, uh, the final reveal. Okay, guys. Here she is. Such a beautiful day out here in Ohio. A lot of cloud in the sky. Blue, sunny, beautiful. Pushing almost 70 degrees. You couldn't ask for a better day. Okay, guys, I, I wanted this up there pretty good. I think I overdid it a little bit to some degree. And another perspective, I did not. Because I see pictures of these things that pretty well, they pretty well get faded out. And, and some bleach, the dark the darkness gets bleached from the sun and stuff. You know, it's just a... Uh, just a just a, a matter of taste okay we'll go to the next uh slide here there she is looking back on the left uh on the port side a little bit too dark guys i realize that it may be just right i don't know but uh what i should what i failed to do i I should have went back and, and lightened all this up with a lighter tone of tan. And uh, the greens come out perfect. But, you know, in a way, I like the way it looked. So I left it that way. I'm not going to pull out and redo this thing over again and appreciate it over again. It's too much work. It is what it is, and uh, I'm happy with it. It's a beautiful airplane, guys. I tell you, I love the Spitfire. It's, it's a, that thing was built to fly. And built to take down the hun and the sun. There's the same angle on the starboard side. It's a nice Spitfire. I really enjoyed this thing. Now my 124 scale with my Airfix. I got it boxed away down below. Unbroken. It's real good shape. I took a look at it the other day and I like the way it came out. Okay, there it is looking head on. Mighty spit. Airbrushed it, uh, like I say, in gray primer and went over it, pre shaded it. After the pre shading was done, I went ahead and had the colors to it. Uh, decals going very good. Good decals they give you. You got two options, two different squadrons, but the same paint schedule. Is underneath it right there, the sky. You can tell it's like it's picked up a lot of oil and a lot of a lot of smoke and everything and picks up in the elements when they're in combat. They don't look very pretty when they come out of combat. And there's another perspective of it right there. This is a pretty airplane. I love the Spitfire. You know, it's just uh it's one of those type of models you just can't stop building. You like a you build another one. It'll look a lot different than this one. That's the one thing about it is, and you compare this to the next my 124 scale Airfix uh, Spitfire. It's a whole different paint. The paint schedule is the same, but the, the, the treatment of the paint schedule is different. But no real effect. This looks old. It looks it's pretty well dirty. It's been uh, been used a lot. And like I say, after a few a few missions, they don't come out very pretty. You got to excuse the blurred action, guys. That gives you a headache looking at that. This one close up of the uh, wings and everything did on it. I gave it some washes here or there too. And uh, it's a nice kit, guys. It really came out real nice. Against the sky, it's kind of dark, but it's a Spitfire. <laughs> Boy, I love those uh, roundels on the bottom of the wings. 
I guess they quit doing that probably by 1943. They all know what English airplanes look like. There's my house back there. And uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, guys, that's the conclusion of uh, video three for my final end of the Mr. Warren Blanche, Frankie Day, Spitfire Buddy Group bill we got going. I got that done. About time, Frank. You got it done. I'm happy, man. Spitfire is very happy. And I'm happy, too. And I'm going to get started on the Sea Fury. And then I'm going to start tinkering around that B-25 at night. And uh, I think I'll make a video of that probably tomorrow. The more I think about it, because I got a lot done in that thing. I got all the cockpit seat belts done, on it, everything on it. So I did a lot of work on it. I posted the last video I did. And uh, so, like I say, I was at a stance. Since I got these now, no excuse. I'm ready to turn two. Now I can button up that fuselage. And get those engine SLs on there. Okay, next video is going to be this Friday. It's going to probably be, it's going to be on the Sea Fury. And I think, but I think it'll be by Saturday. It'll be a good time for me to make a video on the B25. That's exactly what I'll do. And uh, so I'll be posting some pictures. So I look forward to for some pictures. I probably had some uh, pictures maybe tonight or tomorrow on the build of the 148 scale Sea Fury. And uh, that'll be it. Okay, guys, it's such a beautiful day out there. I was thinking about taking one of my sailboats out for a sail today. Today's my day off. I'm nurturing this day very, very slowly so I can enjoy this day and squeeze every, every minute out of the time clock just to enjoy a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. And uh, it's so nice out there, pretty. And I'm gonna go out there and enjoy it and start working on my Sea Fury. Okay, this is Frankie Day signing off for Frankie Day Models. Always, always, always make mama happy. Take care of your babies, your children. Take care of yourself. Stay focused on the road, even out in public, walking around. Spend wisely with your money. Buy yourself a model. Build on, build strong all day long. Enjoy yourself and. Uh, and everything else will follow in view. Weather's breaking, summertime, summertime around the corner. A lot of fun we're gonna be having, guys. Okay, stay tuned for Friday for the update of the Sea Fury build report number one video. Okay, Frankie Day signing off for Frankie Day Models. God bless you guys, I love you guys. You guys take care and thank you very much for your wonderful comments on my last videos I made. I'm very honored each one of you guys out there. Love you guys.